There's this notion that I should feel bad for making fun of and critiquing the right wing. The left! The left! But look at the left! Quickly, look at the left! Look out! No, no, nothing happening here on the right. Pay no attention to the orange behind the transparent curtain. The left! Look! Look! See what they're doing? Look! You need to stop critiquing this country. You're not a real patriot. You're anti-American. You hate this country if you critique it too much and don't like its roots. Don't critique this country, unless, of course, you're critiquing taxes and you're decrying social programs that help the disadvantaged. Then it's okay. Then you can critique the country. But did you look over here? It's the left. It's the left. Look at the left. They've come to rape your brain sewage. Now, let me be clear. I don't like what a lot of the left has been doing as of recently, as of, I mean, since Trump got elected, maybe a year or two before then, but especially since Trump got elected. No, I don't like what the left has been doing. But this doesn't mean we should have self-induced amnesia for what Republicans have done and stood for for the last 50 years. And they're proving as time goes on that they're actually worse than what we've known of them for the past 30 years. Republicans are willing to ignore and even egg on corruption in the name of power, in the name of ha-ha, mega. I mean, let's, let's remember something for a moment. Interracial marriage wasn't fully legalized until 1967. That's not that long ago. And I'm sure there's a lot of things they can say happened since 1967 that are just terrible. All this stuff has happened since we allowed interracial marriage. Reminds me of, you know, Republicans right now saying, look at all the stuff that's being allowed since we had gay marriage. Everything's falling apart. Everything is terrible. Now, I'm not going to lie and try to claim that everything's been great, that the LGBT community has been great since gay marriage was legalized. I'm not going to make that claim either, so, so don't get me wrong. But really, though, Republicans are showing themselves, as of recently, as being really mean. And you can try to claim that being mean shouldn't be a big deal. You know, because nobody should care about your feelings, at least if you're on the left. I mean, if you're on the right, everyone should be empathetic, especially to the cisgender, straight white man who's either rich or has rich parents. We should feel sorry for that frat boy with a Lamborghini with affluenza who's being accused of rape at a party. I mean, what about his future? He had such a bright future until he was accused of rape. He is a star quarterback. Let's bully the accuser on social media. That, that'll that help a lot, right? When it comes to being mean, yeah, you can try to argue that nothing you say can make anyone feel anything. But that's the kind of thing that an abuser says to their victims. Throw out a bunch of insults and then try to make the person feel bad for feeling bad about the insults. Yeah, there's a real healthy relationship. It's approved by the Nuclear Family Values Association. It's wholesome and good, like Betty Crocker. So moist. The left are intelligent, weak, and feminine. They hit like a girl. They're like Scrappy-Doo. And they have several tribes. The right are strong and masculine, and they stand up for their tribe. The left bullies by being tattletales and trying to shut people down. The right bullies people by being as mean as possible. No remorse. Fuck your feelings. But you know, the right has gotten meaner than ever. Just as the left has become the most hated kid in elementary school for being a tattletale over microaggressions. And when it comes to the right wing's agenda, yeah, they really do want to control what you do with your own body. They want to control your sex life. They want to control how you look. They want to control your beliefs through shaming techniques or make you try to pretend that you have Christian values. The right wing wants conformity while preaching individualism. When it comes to the left wing's agenda, yeah, they really do want to control the way you do business. They want to control your language. They want to control the way you raise your kids. The left pushes a secular religion while promoting group identity. 
But apparently we're supposed to forget about and ignore the social conservatism that's brewing on the right. We're supposed to ignore the Daily Wire. We're supposed to ignore PragerU. We're supposed to ignore CPAC. We're supposed to ignore Turning Point USA and Candace Owens. Ignore them. Pay no attention to them. No, no, there's nothing happening on the right. Pay no attention. Just look away. Look, look at the left. Look at the left. Just look, look. Look what the left is doing. Look out. No, I'm not going to feel bad for critiquing and making fun of the right wing. No. You're not going to guilt trip me into that. You're not going to gaslight me. You're not going to gaslight the whole country.